All right. I'm the goods on YouTube. You guys know I specialize in this 2K PC modding. That's what this channel is for. So let's get into a video. We're going to we're inside of my league today. Now I'm going to do a tutorial of how to switch the practice facility. So let me go to practice coaching and freestyle should not freestyle. Well, let's, I believe the freestyle practice gymnasium is just a regular arena, but when you go to scrimmage, it's a different one. So we're you guys should know what it looks like if you go to the regular scrimmage. What I'm going to do right now <clears throat> is quickly show you how I would go about replacing that gym and um, using cheat engine, but... I'm going to also show you the other way. So first, let me go in here and show everybody because some people haven't played my league. So let me show everybody what the uh, practice facility looks like in my league when you go to scrimmage. <clears throat> Waiting for it to come up. Come on, come on. All right. All right. So instant replay. And not wearing regular jerseys because I have the file swapped out. But this is what the. I like this, man. You know, I've really got to come in here and mod. Um, but yeah, this is what the practice facility looks like. As a matter of fact, let me do some. Let me. Uh, let me see if I can get you guys a better view because I've been messing around with the cameras. Let's see, open. Don't. Uh, this is not really part of the tutorial here. Okay. Make sure. Let me go to camera. Camera. Okay. All right. So I want to just. I want to take, let me, the other thing I want to do is choose sides, let the PC, uh, let the computer just run. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to let the computer run this game. Let the two computers play each other. But what I'm going to do is see if... Actually, I think I have a custom camera angle up. So, yeah, that looks like it's a custom camera angle. I just need to take a look at something real quick. So now you can get a, a full look at the gym. I just messed with the camera. You guys normally don't get to see camera views like this. So this is the normal gym. All right, I'm changing the camera view right now before you guys' eyes, before your very eyes. All right, so anyway, this is what the this is what it looks like and I'm going to change this to look like the practice facility inside of my career. First, I'm going to show you how to do it through cheat engine, which most people won't want to do. All right, so right now, let's back out of this gym cuz we know what it looks like now. If we go to quit I'm going to my cheat engine for stadiums. I'm using patch five. I've been using patch five for months. That's what works for me. If you guys want me to post, I think if you want me to post the link to my patch five, 
in the description I will do so but anyway that team facility that we just saw I believe is this is this it no that's not it. it's this one here 729 so the arena file name is S729 and F729 I'm going to change it to the my career the my career one which will be S731 and F731 so now when I go to practice I'm going to go back to the front uh, let's see coaching scrimmage so now this time when I go in here it should be the practice facility from my career but in a second I'm actually going to extract the physical files this is just like a a walkthrough kind of tutorial showing you how how I would go about doing this. Um, me personally, if I wanted to do this for myself, I would just use Cheat Engine because I know how to use it. But um, for most people, they're not really comfortable using it if they're new to it. So I'm going to show you in a second what I would do, which is just swap out the 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 digital files, the .if files in your Wegua folder. All right. Let's get in here, let's take a look. See what everything's looking like. All right, so there we go. Oh man, this actually looks pretty clean from this view. All right, so I need, I need to let the CPU battle it out. If you wanna know how I got all these extra options on my screen, it's because I'm using Lemnono Trainer and uh, unlock hidden game options and I keep that up if you if you click up here where it says memory function switch status if you keep that clicked it will save your Limnono trainer settings so you don't have to come in here and click stuff every time all right so anyway let me change choose sides go back to the middle all right, so the CPUs are going to play it out, and then we're just going to, we are going to take a few different, uh, we're going to look at a few different angles of this, of this practice facility. Looks good, too. Messed up, messed up. Oh man, I kind of okay. I was kind of digging that up top view for a second. This one, I kind of like this view also. But anyway, this is the gym. I, I've spent way too much time messing around looking at this. I'm sorry, guys. I got lost in messing with the camera. All right, so anyway, that's uh, this. I signed it using Cheat Engine. Now I'm actually going to extract the files so that I can upload them for you guys to have uh, and use this as your practice facility for my league. If you don't know how to use Cheat Engine, but I'm I'm also gonna make a separate video where I just say, hey guys, here's this gym. Just plug it into your way Google folder. I'm gonna be talking just like that too. No, nah, just kidding. All right. So I'm just clearing everything off my screen. Now here's the tool that I'm gonna use to. Uh, well, nah, am I, yeah, I'm gonna use this tool. 
called the 2K Exporter uh, Exporter Console. It's a tool by Louie, and I have the tutorial for it on my channel. Press number one for English. Then I have to tell them where the file, uh, which directory the file is coming from. It is coming from NBA 2K20, so I'm going to drag this 2K20 folder up there. Press enter. Then I need a notepad file, uh, .txt file, I'm sorry. So I need to get rid of all of this stuff. Wait, did I even get this stuff? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Just gonna create a new uh, text file .txt and let's call it 731. All right, so the the stuff that I have to put in here has to come from the manifest. So I'm gonna open up Notepad plus plus, and I'm gonna open up a file called manifest. Oh shoot, where is Notepad plus plus? I right, hear this. So I'm going to open up a file called manifest, which is already open here, but it's it comes directly from my 2K20 folder. So like if I go into 2K20 right now and hold on. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, there'll be a file called manifest down here. But I've already opened that up right here. So like if I drag it over here, it's already open actually right here. So this lets me know the manifest will tell you every file that's in this game, every major file that's in this game. There are some sub files inside of these files also, but every major file that's in this game is right here. So I'm going to press control F and I am looking for S731. Yeah, S731 because that's the my career practice facility looking for S731 nope that's not it just the regular S731 there it is and I'll grab the floor light map also so I'll grab these two lines of info copy it paste it into this new notepad thing and then over here, Notepad++. Now I need to look up F731 or F731.if. Yeah, I need to look up F731.if because there's going to be more little things here. Okay, this is exactly what I need. Oops, I just need this line. Copy. Do, 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 do. All right, paste. I'm going to save this .txt file. I'm going to come back over to Notepad++. This is not just regular Notepad here. This is Notepad++. I'm going to close it. Don't need it right now. All right, so this file, save. I think I already saved it, but I'm going to close it. Now I can tell this tool here that I want to use this file I, and extract these extract these particular files from the game all right so all I have to do is just drag this right here press enter now it's saying okay where do you want the files to go once you're done and I've got a little folder called mods so I'm gonna drag that here and it gives you the address press enter oh, press enter on the wrong one click on this tool here and press enter it says exporting export completed press any key and it shuts itself down now when we click on this folder has our three files so now all i have to do is just rename them to f729 f2 i mean 
sorry, this one will be S729. And then this one down here is going to be called S729. If. Oh, no, 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 no. Control Z. It's going to be called S729 underscore floor underscore light map. So then you would just take all three of these files, put them in your Wegua folder, and go, and then start up your game. I, I usually don't like to add mods when my game started. So, but if you did, if you already had the game running and you were already inside my league, you would just drop those three files in your Wegua folder. And, um, and then go to practice after you put them in your way Google folder. All right. So anyway, I'm going to come back with another video showing the short version of everything I just said. But man, this cabin view looks good. All right, guys. All right. All right. Catch you on the other side.